poison. I would like to do a, just a case study for one minute on the China corruption okay. link and the okay. role of our work more broadly in that. Malaysia, for 61 years, one, one party governed this country since it became independent in 1957. They constructed a totally gerrymandered system. corrupt political system in which the ruling party accrued every advantage and doubled down on holding the tools of power, fusion of state and kind of leading economic sectors, etc. So IRI, we had worked in Malaysia with opposition political parties since 2002. And guess whose funding we did it with? The National Endowment for Democracy. Because guess who wouldn't fund democratic political party work in Malaysia? The USAI Agency for International Development and the State Department, because they, you know, I think the reflection was, gosh, this is kind of a one-party system. This is not a bad, this is a bad use of our funds. And two, Malaysia is kind of a valuable military partner. So for 15 years, working with NED resources, we worked to strengthen Malaysian opposition parties. And guess what happened two months ago? After 61 years, they won. Not thanks to us, thanks to them. The good guys There won. was such a reaction to the excesses of corruption and cronyism and nepotism. It had nothing to do with us. But it was the excesses of the one-party state, the kind of logical culmination of the abuses of power in this quite rich Southeast Asian country. And so I visited and I was sitting there with many of the leaders, the new leaders of this government, many of whom were just our partners we had been working with for 15 years, and one of the most senior of them, who's now one of the people running the government, said to me, gosh, IRI, you never gave up on us even when we were ready to give up on ourselves, mm. right? And we're sitting in the prime minister's office. Here we are. That's a tribute to them, not a tribute to us, but it's an example of playing the long game. And the reason I wanted to bring this up is the link, because guess what the first step, really one of the first steps the new government took? It froze. Chinese infrastructure investments because it had opened the books and discovered that there was a lot of funny money mm -hmm. swishing around what had been this very corrupt, closed, unaccountable system, right? And so there is a big corruption cleanup and there is a big kind of a deep dive on foreign influence in this country. This is not a hugely pro-American country. It's probably never going to be an actual U.S. Yeah. ally. Um, but this is going to redound to our benefit, right? And, and that's an example of the long game.